All right, are we ready to do this? Hey everybody, Real Estate Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. It's still raining outside, so I thought I'd do the video inside the truck. We're gonna talk about student loan borrowers and how almost 9 million of them missed a payment, the first payment in October. We're gonna talk about this government ramp up program that they have, but we are always, as real estate investors, looking for signs if the economy is weak or if it is strong. When I see massive groups of people not paying payments. We see this in the auto loan crisis. We see this in what we're about to talk about, student debt. Um, there's so many different things that tip you off in the side of, okay, the economy is not doing well because the consumer is not doing well. We see less shipping and freight moving around the world. Um, we see layoffs at uh, places that would deal in the freight industry, right? That shows that the consumer is buying less. So we can see, we can paint a picture of broad, with broad strokes how the economy is. And it's not until, and we're trying to see this ahead of time because we don't want to wait for the government numbers. We don't want to wait until all of a sudden they go, yeah, everything's going to crap in a handbasket, sorry. And that's when you see everything fall out. We want to be able to project things ahead of time. That's what I teach my students at the, the real estate crash course. That's what I uh, try and show on this channel and the Economic Ninja channel. Why and how it is, how to, but why it is so important to project out, get a feel for the economy. All right. So this story is out of Business Insider. It is entitled, Nearly 9 Million Student Loan Borrowers Missed Their First Payments in October, But They Won't Face the harshest consequences of falling behind in implications on the real estate situation. We need buyers that are well qualified and well capitalized to buy properties to keep the bubble going. But that is not what I'm seeing everywhere. And I want you to understand too that the way it it take it's these little bits of information that these are the guys from The Big Short, the movie we've all probably watched. Type one if you've seen The Big Short down below. Um, they were taking real-time information, even from going to strip clubs, to try and find out who was blowing up this real estate bubble. Was this legitimate? They were finding all that stuff in real time, and it wasn't until the government numbers came out, and it's not the government numbers coming out once. They got to come out twice, three times, 10 times, 10 different quarters. Oh, yeah everything's falling apart. And we are already in the midst of that. We are already getting government numbers that are not looking well, okay? And that's why the consumer, us being able to project this is so vitally important. So it says, student loans started coming due again in October after an over three year pandemic era pause, but millions of borrowers missed their first payments. Last week, the president's education department released new data on how borrowers have fared since the pause on student loan payments ended. Interest started accruing again in September with bills coming due one month later. Wouldn't you think that if you've got a bill due and interest is accruing, you'd want to start paying it? Why would you want to feel the need to take care of, uh, take advantage of this slow on-ramping thing, right? So you got to sort of think of that. Also, I put some more of the 80% off links down below uh, to the uh, prepare for the real estate crash course. It says, according to the department, 40%, 40% of the 22 million borrowers or about 8.8 .8 million borrowers who entered repayment in October missed their first payments with over 4 million of the borrowers who got bills this far owing payments for the first time. Millions, that's pretty impressive. I mean, you've never even paid a bill payment. Yeah, you know what, I'm just not gonna pay. It says millions more were not making payments prior to the payment pause because they were delinquent or abstained, uh, or uh, sorry, abstained, uh, they did abstain, obtained a deferment or forbearance under the Secretary of Education, uh, James Caval wrote in a blog post. He says, while most borrowers have already made their first payment, others will need more time, Caval wrote. Some are confused or overwhelmed about their options. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed. I don't know if I should pay or not. Okay, I'm not going to pay. That's that's really overwhelming. Um, the latest data reflects the large number of borrowers choosing to make use of the department's 12-month on-ramping period. That's where we're at now. We've got to give these kids a safe space 
in college because they're not growing up in a, a world that makes you strong. It makes you weak because everything's been given to us, right, for so long. And now they need an on-ramping period. Oh, your debt's due. Why don't you just take some time? Because, and I, I want people to understand why this is so vitally important. Well, if the first payment was due in October, where does 12 months from there get you? Oh, an election. So, hey, let's try our hardest to push these payments off. Doesn't matter about what's going on with the taxpayer. That just doesn't matter. Let's make sure everything looks rosy. Just like how the, the VA just suspended all of the foreclosures because there's a lot of them happening in the VA loan system because some senators got word of how big of a deal it was. And they said, let's halt it till May. We're going to halt it. We're just going to kick the can down the road. So I want you to understand, do I think there's a crash coming tomorrow? I have no freaking clue. Are things getting worse? Yes, they are. Does that mean that someday there's going to be a big crash? Yes. Yes. So the question is, are you going to be ready for it? I'm getting ready. Type two, if you're getting ready for this. So it says the department also emphasized that it's new save income driven repayment plan will bring borrowers more relief next year. Though features of the plan that have yet to go in effect, including cutting undergraduate student loan payments in half for those who enroll, currently 2.9 million borrowers enrolled in SAVE are making zero payments. And the department previously estimated 20 million borrowers could benefit from the plan. Despite the relief that department, the department has implemented, borrowers are still struggling to navigate the return to repayment. Student loan services, servicers, resources are strained, leaving some borrowers with questions on hold with customer service uh, links for hours. The education department recently rece released a framework uh, to hold services accountable when they do not fulfill their contractual obligations, including withholding the servicers uh, pay and transferring borrowers to a better performing servicers when necessary. But it could take time for repayment issues to be completely ironed out. Isn't that crazy? When you think this is actually a crisis in its, its own way, right? You have people that cannot pay payments and then you have the payment system that's so broke that the government's trying to meddle in there too. It all leads to one road and that is a crash because nothing is going well. And here's the other thing that most people don't think and type, type three if you agree with this, type four if you don't. The education system is built almost to fail you because you're just learning things. You're almost you're just regurgitating information, but you're not learning how to go out and get those jobs, how to go out and crush it, how to be a success, right? And the thing is, is everything's handed to these young men and women on a platter and they're not put through the, the rigorous things that most of us went through when we were younger because things just keep getting easier and easier. And the government trying to put off your debt for longer and longer is just making things easy, easy, easy. And, and this is what I want other people to understand too. This type of debt cannot be discharged in bankruptcy. It is truly an enslavement process. You watch those doctors and lawyers that go out and rack up, you know, half a million or even more in student loan debt. How long is that gonna take them to repay? I know people working in the pharmacy industry pharmacy industry that have been doing their job for oh over 25 years they still owe money on their their payments on their i mean it's like an eternal debt doom loop and people need to realize where we're at and at the same time the president just keeps salting oh you're going to get a bailout you're going to get a bailout let me buy some votes let me buy some votes and we're not going to hit the really hard times to make good hardened strong american men and women The whole point is you need to invest in yourself. You need to learn as much as you can. Learn as much as you can. Stop playing video games. Stop doing frivolous things. Stop hanging out with those people that lead you down the wrong path. And start taking action now. I hope you guys got something out of this. I'll put some more of those 80% off links. They're good uh, until we raise the price of the course January 1st. Hope you have a great day. Get ready for this economic downturn because nobody knows what day or the hour, but I guarantee you one thing. I'd rather be six months too early than one day too late. With that being said, the Real Estate Ninja is out.